What's up guys welcome back to 6th part of Android notifications. In this video we are going to add our action to big view notifications right. So, so far we are able to create a big text regular notification, big picture style notification and inbox style notification. Now it's time when we should add the functionality on the click of this notification it will be migrated to the activity B and on the click of the settings and help button the corresponding activity will be opened. So how to do it? It's quite simple we just have to copy and paste the codes of simple notification what we discussed few tutorials back. So inside the Eclipse we had four buttons codes and four corresponding methods. So let us check out the codes of normal view notification right it's downside Yeah, show normal view notification. So in order to add the functionality to our big view notifications, we just have to copy and paste the codes of explicit intents and backstack task builder. So far we are already done with the build the content of notifications right now after this at last we have already passed the notification through notification manager. So what we are gonna do? We just have to copy and paste the in between modules of the first and last one. So let's not waste time. Let us now copy it. Yeah, till here. Control C. Now move upside. Now, first is our show inbox style notification, right? This was our style to our notification. This was the basic content of notification and this was the passing of notification through notification manager notify function. So in between let us paste it. Control V. Control Shift F. This aligns our codes. So please don't confuse with the codes guys. I have tried to make it more and more clear step by step process. So this completes our codes of show inbox style notification. Now let us come to our show picture notification. This is our style to our big picture. This is the content of notification and this is the passing of notification through notify function. So in between let us paste the functionality fine control shift F. So we are pretty done with big picture style also. Now it comes big text notification. Now again the three components we are done with assign style to the big text then build the content of notification fine. Now pass the notification through notification manager right. So in between here let's paste it control V control shift F. Now hopefully everything will work fine if we run our application. Now guys at last Now at last we have to check our manifest file. Now inside the manifest file few tutorials back we have already set up our manifest file codes. So please check whether these kinds of codes are there or not. Settings activity declaration of activity B with a metadata and a parent backstack activity name. So when we press the back button right from the activity B activity A will be opened. Similarly for the settings activity backstack activity is activity A. You can set any activity you want to it's totally up to your wish fine. Now similarly help activity right here and the backstack activity is activity A. Since this is a regular activity functionality so our codes should look like this with a backstack activity right here in all the cases fine. So let us save our application and run it. So our application is finally running. So let us click on this big picture notification button and let's check. Yeah, hey this is a ticker our notification is working perfectly fine. How awesome our notification is looking with a big picture and downside two buttons which is the integral part of this big picture notification. Now let us click on this main icon. Yeah, our activity is working perfectly fine activity we got opened. Now let's move back. Yeah, this is our parent activity A it got opened. Now let us do one thing. Let us click on this big picture notification again. Fine. Let us close this application. No props. Again the backstack will work fine. 
because our codes are fine right now let us click on the settings button BAM! Our codes are working again fine. On the click of the settings button, settings activity got opened. Now let us click on this back button. Again the activity A got opened which was our back stack activity, right? Now similarly guys check out this inbox style notification and big text style notification. It should work perfectly fine. Now let me show you one thing guys. If you click on this show inbox style notification, let's click on it. Hey this is sticker. Scroll it down. Now guys, if you watch, this is at the bottom is a big picture regular notification. Now you can make out what is going on here. At the top is what? Inbox regular notification. Now the notification is at the top is always is having a big picture style if you have assigned to it. Now if you remove it from the top, now see this big picture regular notification which was looking like a normal view has again shaped itself into the big picture regular notification now again let's try it now this is big text notification click on it now again click on this inbox style notification so we are having three notification one by one at the top in the navigation drawer so this is the inbox regular notification let's remove it now as soon as we remove it the big text regular notification comes into action and it is now displaying the two action buttons with a detailed right here now let us remove this also now as soon as we remove it the big picture regular notification comes into action it is having a detailed area with a big picture on it and the two buttons it is showing so let us clear the notification so please don't confuse with the codes guys in order to avoid any confusion, I have defined the four steps to create a notification. The first step is to set the style of the notification if required, whether it is a picture style, inbox style or big text style notification, right? Now the second step is to set the basic content of the notification. The text of the notification, the content of the notification you have to specify in the step number two. Now the third is to set the intents of the notification and the action buttons if you are using. So create an intent, set that to pending intent and finally set that to builder, right? Now step number four is to pass the notification through the notification manager notify function. So these four steps are sufficient enough to create any kind of notification, right? So in the next video, I will show you about the special activity. I will start my special activity notification. What are the changes is required for the special activity notification and how it is useful for us. So till then stay tuned guys and catch you guys in the next video and please subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw and do like and share my video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.